All right, guys, so everybody knows Taddy Bluziak, the Polish rider, absolute beast off-road guy. He's won Erzberg five times. He's won the Enduro Cross Championship five times. He's won FIM Super Enduro six times. Dude is a beast, and he's been with Gas Gas for the last few years, and now he's signed with Stark. So let's talk about what happened at the first round of FIM Super Enduro last weekend in France. All this information comes from Sebastian Tortelli, uh, doing a cycle news interview. But apparently, they reached out to the FIM to see if they could put Taddy on this bike and race it legally. The FIM said, yeah, this is no problem. They had a provision where an electric bike could race uh, in their premier class. Then, apparently, sometime in the middle of the week, the promoter let Tortelli or Stark know that Taddy would not be able to race this bike uh, at round one. Uh, and then FIM came back with an email saying that indeed he would not be able to race because of some type of safety concern. Tortelli then goes on to say that they tried to address those concerns and even offered to have their own fire marshal uh, at the event, uh, you know, for safety's sake, just to handle it. Uh, and the FIM and promoter said no. And he even goes on to say that they learned 22 hours before the race started that the FIM had some kind of special meeting and removed this provision for an electric bike to race. Is that not BS? I think it's pretty obvious here that one of the OEMs put some major pressure on the FIM. I'm not going to mention any names, but it's clearly just a bunch of BS because we know, uh, if anything, these are safer than combustion bikes. There's literally no combustible fuel in them. There's no, uh, you know, no fuel lines and no, no uh, active spark or anything like that that's happening. Um, and they can fight it all they want, but, uh, you know, at some point, they're going to lose. And I look forward to seeing some of the stuff that Taddy can do on this thing. You know, I've rode this thing. I know it's awesome. Uh, I've seen kind of what the guys can do on motocross, but as far as off-road, it's going to be a little bit of a different beast. And uh, it's going to be exciting, and some promoters that let this guy ride are going to get some really uh, nice media coverage. So we'll just see what happens this year.